Hi, I'm Randy Vance. I'm on the Tampa Bay today in Crown Line's brand new 250 XSS. This is a sporty looking bow rider, 25 feet long, with Mercury's 250 horsepower V6 outboard. Now this is a great performer. We were making over 50 miles an hour in this boat, but what was most impressive to me is at just 41 miles per hour, we were making three miles per gallon. That's really remarkable efficiency. Now the helm is nicely designed. I like this vinyl covered molded surface here and you've got a black plexiglass dash. That's where your Garmin goes and that's a standard device there. You've also got analog gauges on either side, but look at the way these switches are trimmed in billet aluminum. Now when you turn on your nav lights, all the other light indicators come on as well. Over here on the right you've got a trim tab set up and even that has a nice billet around it. Now this boat is equipped with a nice package of both standard and optional LED courtesy lights. You've got optional docking lights on the bow. Inside you've got the blue courtesy lights. Overhead on the radar arch you've also got courtesy lights. And you've got a remote control right here to turn them on and off. On another point, Crownline recognizes that some states believe that the exterior LED lights interfere with navigation and they've outlawed them. So Crownline has given you a way to shut them off right here. Now in our tests, we didn't use the trim tabs, nor did we feel that we needed to. But when you've loaded the boat up with a crew, and maybe a lot of people want to sit on one side or the other, you'll find the tabs useful to help level that ride. Well, these are small tabs, but they're extremely responsive and work well to level the boat. Not only that, when you turn the key off, they raise up so that if you're one of those that's loading your boat up on a high rise, the forklift won't break them. Now on the port side, the console opens up to reveal a head compartment inside, and it's surprisingly roomy. You've got a flushing toilet inside, a freshwater sink, and the sink faucet pulls out to serve as a shower. For ventilation and light, there's a port light with a screen. Now both the captain and a passenger get a custom bucket seat. If you're used to having to get down on your hands and knees to adjust them forward and aft or to make them swivel, you won't do that on this boat. They put the controls right in the armrest where they're easy to reach from your seated position. That way you can adjust your legroom and twist the seat around to face your crew. Now the bow seating area is that which the boat is named for. You've got two large lounges here and they're extra wide with armrests that fold down as you walk through here. Underneath you've got ample storage and forward of that you've got an anchor locker. Now I like the way the cup holders are arranged back under the combings where they're out of the way. Same with the speaker pods and they're facing aft to fill both the bow seating area and the cockpit with sound. Now you've got a spot for a carry-on igloo cooler here in the forward seat and that's pretty handy. One thing you'll notice is that when you lift these seats up, they stay up while you're working to get your stuff out or in those compartments. The hinges are stainless steel and extra sturdy. Now the aft seating area gives you a great place to entertain your guests. I really like this lounge here. Touch an electric button and the seat back flips forward and it makes you a nice sun pad. You've got wraparound seating here and a nice walk through to the transom. And here on the starboard side, underneath the jump seat, is a cooler. They've even included movable cup holders that you can tuck wherever you like. Now there are a number of important options on this boat and most obvious is the wakeboard tower or the radar arch. That includes a tow point for water sports for skiing and wakeboard. You also got some other important options on board and that would be the pump out head, the marine mat flooring, and you've got underwater lights on this boat that are LED and the optional remote control. What's most notable to me are the standard features on board, and that's the stereo, the Garmin GPS, and a battery charger system that includes a VSR, voltage sensing regulator. Now throughout the boat is ample storage. There's a ski locker in the floor. You've also got storage under the console, and you've got storage under all the seats. I also like the storage under the aft lounge seat. It's a large compartment that'll hold almost everything you want to bring out. Throughout the boat, you'll find USB charge ports for everybody's phone. There's also some nice storage compartments tucked in the combings. But the captain's chair and the passenger chair are two little compartments. Here, as you walk through the transom area, you'll find another one. Battery access is through the port side hatch on the transom. 
lift the lid and you'll see a mesh bag. Remove the bag and that gives you battery access. You've also got a compartment ahead of the helm that's ideal for stowing fenders. The Crown Line 250 XSS is a performing boat. We like the way it handled, we really like the way it looked with some of the optional color packages on board. Stylish from the outside and stylish on the inside. I'm Randy Vance on the Tampa Bay with Crown Line and their 250 XSS.